shopmighty.com. Get it while it's hot and while supplies last. Because they do go quick like hotcakes, yeah, and everyone's I mean, like, hey, why is it sold out? I'm like, telling you, gotta go quick. And Come on. Wait, we don't have their size. Just get on the site now. You won't have that problem. We got every size. We got youth. Anything you could want. Multiple colorways to fit any style. And you guys are the first ones seeing it here. So if you're watching this YouTube, you're seeing it first right now brand new merch shop which also means brand new dirt bikes but come take a look at what we got right here check out the detail on this thing this is my personal favorite i like how we started with this one but this one's gonna sell out quick so you better watch out and i put myself on the hoodie that's like a dream come true yeah no it is right come on up it's you got solid art a little a slight pink if you can tell on the camera for you or your lady mm -hmm. flannels for you lumberjacks out there it's cold on the east coast huh and i like this over here you got signature jerseys Signature gloves. Nice little kit. Signature barbacks. I know. All with my logo on it. If that's available at shopbuddy.com. And what could they win? I think they win this KX250 Pro Circuit dirt bike. So it's brand new. Our boy Mitch got everything tuned up. Someone's going to win a brand new dirt bike. You're going to be stoked because you're getting brand new merch. Shopbuddy.com. Just arrive at Temecula Motorsports in the heart of the IE, everyone's favorite dealership. And it's nice and hot out too. You see it today in beautiful sunny California? Don't get better than that. Doesn't get better than that. So I remember you from last time, Buttery Films, and now I see you guys. How we doing, brother? So you I'm, were on here last time. Yes, and I think I got an old man comment or whatever <laughs> it was, right? <laughs> but ever since then, I've been watching you guys do the wheelies, and I'm getting all embarrassed here, right? But no, it's cool watching you guys. That's, That's bitching, awesome. man. Thank yeah. you. I, I put the faces to the whatever, and it's cool. We appreciate it, man. Let them know you're cool. <laughs> well, you're cool. <laughs> there you go. What up, brother? Um, nice seeing you. How you been? Good? Good, man. Chilling. The man of the hour right here. Yeah. You want a 24, right? A bunch of green ones. I didn't even know you had gray ones. Oh, you got a fleet of these bad boys. No way. Yeah, 24 250F. You got one? Locked in, dude. 2024 Kawasaki KX250. I'm thinking, is that something the fans might like? I know you ride green. What are you thinking? What's your opinion? It's a, it's a good bike. I mean, I get a little hate from it in the comments, but it's just a, it's an overall good bike. It's a great machine. Anyone who's talking is just because they're mad they don't have one. Exactly. They're fast. They corner good. They jump good. And you don't even have this 2024 version ah. yet. But this is like the 450's last year frame, so you kind of know what this is all about. It's a good overall bike. Mine's made it through a couple crashes, and it's still right. Good. Dude, the only time I ever have to use a pen in life is either checking in the clipboard of the track or signing for a new bike. Cool, I'll get everything all ready. Congratulations, guys. Let's go, baby. Feels good, huh? What number is this? This has got to be like 17th or 18th bike that we purchased. Dang, how many giveaways? 11 of them. 11 giveaways? I might need to go scoop them. Let me see what they got over here. Let's scoop one out real quick. What are you going? Why are you going to the blue, bro? Oh, they got Hondas? Yamaha did win the shootout for everyone in the class. We all put Yamaha first. I could see myself maybe going blue crew. It is hard to leave red though, because you know what happens when you ride red. Yeah. I've been on these machines forever. This is where I'm at in life right now. It's a good problem to have though, but this is the dilemma I'm working with is Yamaha, Honda. Can't decide. Comment below. Help them pick. Comment below. Let us know. Just be extra careful. It's fully prepped. Boys at Temecula Motorsports, put some oil, put some gasoline, batteries charge. Oh, easy. No braking period necessary. Just roll that bad boy out and get on the gas. Let them know. Straight off the boat. to roll the machine straight out of the dealership. She's pristine right now. Unbelievable, break-in period, straight to the streets, don't matter. And the 250's really better. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's 
something. You look good. Give us a little wheelie in the parking lot. Sell some bikes. like a freshie. Van's out right now, so we're in the Ranger Danger. Oh yeah, unreliable. Is the tailgate open? No, you gotta get to the side. What do you mean? Pull up at the same time. This right here? And knock on it twice. Brother, this isn't looking too good. It's not even hooked up. There's nothing hooked up. Oh, there we go. Dialed. Let me make some room here. Yeah. Got some cowie wheels. Careful, careful. Dude, watch out for my, for my wheel. <laughs> I know I know how you keep your stuff immaculate. I see that. We have no ramp? No ramp. Right. You know what to do. You're going to have to hard arrow that thing up. Oh, I can it. Brand new. Be careful, though. Easy. Damn, this guy's been lifting too? Yeah, that's my good arm. My, my, my rear's almost a street tire. Is it? Let's see. I got a couple more rides on it. Dude, that's a meaty pull off for someone on the tube. We'll see who wants that thing. And then how's the front looking? It's just a, it's a one direction. The that's street cool. wheel. Here we go. We're with Jay Clark right now, Dirt Bike TV on social media, on every single platform. Probably the most active user. Yeah, my son stays on the uh, TikTok. And then you stay more on the Instagram side? Yes. And that posts to the Facebook for the old guys. Rim strip here, Gorilla Tape. Yeah, and we, we do two laps. And if you do it right, see, look at, I did a 60-40 split there. You like that? Yeah, no, you got that dial. How you, long is this rolling on? Yeah, not too long. I, we can get a few rims out of it. So then we go to the, the little bit wider one. And I like to start at a, see that faster sticker there on the hump? Yep. Then I can count my laps. So I can start there and go. And I contact cleaned it off a little bit to get the get to stick a little better. Yeah. So some people it just comes with that stock one, the rubber one. The rubber strip is is, is fine for most people. Just no one really gives them to you when you get a new wheel. And this just gets the seat better? Yeah, so I can it's push like glue it on. going? Yeah, I can push it on there so it really sticks in there. Covering all those nipples. <laughs> Normally we're uncovering, but today we're covering up. They were like, <laughs> we had to go to the shopping for some... <laughs> for some rubbers? The four carry too, huh? This guy can do it all. Look at that, there we go. MX 34s. He's giving us the good stuff out here. I own about 10. Regular bike. I don't count those five or that KX over there. There's a, there's a KX in the corner. It's kind of cool. So I guess you own 16. Dude, that'd be a cool bike to do something with. Well, let's pull it out. We can we can do it right now. What so do you want to do? For like for like a uh, giveaway bike. It's 125. The KX 125. Check this thing out. So I'm doing purple rims. All right. And and it's gonna like purple on the graphics thing. Yeah, that'll look sick. It's what a, year? It could have, it's a 2000. Who wants this thing? 2000. Giveaway bike, KX 125. Who wants a CR250 for top dollar? Comment below. <laughs> Jay's selling, he's got five of these bad boys. Hit up Dirt Bike TV if you want one of these things, but he's only taking top dollar. He's put a lot of time and effort. Check it out how clean these bad boys are. 95, 96s, five in a row. When's the last time you had a kid? Well, you know what's funny? Today is the birthday of my youngest. He's 23. Well, happy so birthday, huh? Yeah, he's, he's Spencer is... And he's off on a little birthday trip, so. That's Dirt Bike TV, too. Yeah, he'll be back tomorrow. All right. A little baby powder, that helps. So that keeps the tube and tire from chafing up. Also help it move together, less likely for a pinch flat. Nice and powdered up like that. Those things are pretty stiff. It's cold out. <laughs> I see you putting some force into that rear. Right. It's Eli's brand new front. 34, you've never ran one of these bad boys before. Oh, yeah. this is from new. Well, yeah. How long are you going to wait? Uh, maybe like one, maybe two more weeks. <laughs> we just had to talk about this. <laughs> That'll be 10. That's long enough. It's time to get back on the horse. We normally run 6.9. What are you running on that? <laughs> like, like 13. 13? Yeah. But you know what? You're not riding for a couple weeks. I'm going to bump it up here to like 15 or 16. 15. Here so you can, I'm going to leave. Like you're going to check it before you ride. And you got Dunlop stickers. Factory. You like that? One down. One down, three to go. 
Only 30 seconds for that front. I bet you can do this in the next one on 45 for a yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. Like a NASCAR pit stop. Yeah. Brand new wheel sets. No rotors. Yeah. Is that going to be an issue for you? I think I can handle it. Ooh. Big bite for the last one, too. Yeah. Tire paste. Bead buddies. The whole nine. I'm going to install this tire. We got the tube in. and We get li very limited pressure in here. And I just put the, the nut on the stem just a little bit and then push like this. And a big help is having a tire stand like this. So and if you want to make one, we have the drawings. You can email us. And that'll help a ton. You can make your own drawing. And you see my... I, we just use a lot of the, the stand. And it's nice to work. A lot of guys are on the ground or on a bucket. And you're kind of lifting. You're yeah, with lifting my left hand. Up. Okay, so then... So the, the, tree, the, the key here is, you see that rim lock, the tire's not on the right side of that rim lock yet. So now I'm gonna flip it over. See, it is right there, there's the... You're poking out there, yeah. this is the technique. So we get in here, and we just hit it like that, and then you kind of walk it over like that, and then push it up, just like that. Boom. And we'll make sure the valve comes okay, which it is. I'm gonna come back over put this tube in here and then I like to I like to lift up right at the rim lock with my thigh and then pull this and make sure the tube is on top of that rim lock so we're not stuck I'm so it. confident when you poke it I feel like that's when I always yeah. like <laughs> pinch it a little bit okay and, then, and again my thighs helps me underneath And then we're gonna knock it off the bead over here. And then my thigh's underneath. Uh, just That's like it. that, huh? Not bad, right? Easy as that. It's like, what, six or nine bites, and that last one you just push it right on. <laughs> That's it. Wipe that off. Get the rim locked down here. I do like to inspect the other side to make sure that it popped on all the way. I'm going to wipe all that tire paste off. Another thing you could show them, which is nice. See this brand new rim? Mm-hmm. You don't see any scratches No here. nicks. Perfect. Look at that. Photo so shoot ready. We get a lot of comments. Guys, oh, no, he's, he's scratching up the rim. No. No scratches here. We try, I mean, it does happen, but, we, you know, I try to, like, if it's a brand new wheel, I'm going to take my time a little bit more. That's oh, so what the Sharpie saw. <laughs> and it is a dirt bike, right? You're not gonna ride this for a while. Don't, don't rub it in. Okay, so <laughs> put this on. And then like, this is important right here. Just so you have the nut touching the cap. So it leaves room for the valve stem to be able to move. Where can people get these Dunlop stickers at? Uh, they can't, unfortunately. They gotta be, be real <laughs> cool, right? You gotta be really cool or really fast, like on a factory team, right? Yep, well, so we're not that one. So I so guess we're pretty cool, huh? You're pretty cool. So there we go, just like that. It looks. It just looks a little bit better to line it up with the, uh, the rim sticker. You want to be factory. I'd love to be factory. Maybe one day. One day. Factory. We're gonna start training now. Man, I'm a thirty plus. Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Crusty demons of dirt tour. Twenty twenty five. Okay. That's it. Good job. Let's go. Let's see that scar. How's it healing up? Oh, that's nice. Put lotion on it. Vitamin E, they say. Ooh. Vitamin E, huh? Yeah. Whoa. Brand new sprocket, steel Pro X. No, this is aluminum, right? Aluminum, yeah. All right, you yeah, go, he's you got race this. mode. Okay. Now you back off. Start Come spinning on. that bad Start boy. Start spinning it, yeah. Ugh. Connor knows. Come he, on. He's done these too. Oh, I've, I've been here once or twice. But ever since we started coming to you, I don't really have to do as much bike work anymore. It's awesome. <laughs> this used to be me doing it for Eli. Now it's you doing it for Eli. <laughs> I think I, I must have put these on, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, you did. Yeah, so they're, they're on good. <laughs> right. And you know, we had tickets to the gun show. Well, part of the problem is, you know, the, have you ever seen what happens when you lose a, a sprocket? Like if, it, if one bolt bolt come loose, the whole lot. blow the whole hub, the whole hub, disaster. It can be catastrophic as far as injury. You know, you could crash. So you can't be too careful with sprocket bolts. It's just a lot of guys don't. So we put a little bit of uh, Loctite on them. Uh, your thread locker. 
Are those lock nuts too on the back? Yeah. Double down, double safety. But as you can tell, look, it's got 20, 30 hours on this bike and it hasn't moved at all. Right, and and I'm guessing you guys aren't checking them every mm -hmm. time you, you prep. Nah, never. We just started checking the tire pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I just started checking my uh, chain tightening. <laughs> yeah, he lets that thing get. He just started checking gas. <laughs> Wow, look at that thing. He welded that on there, huh? Yeah. You got the grinding wheel? Can you want to you really let some sparks fly? Okay. One left. Oh. Is there still a bolt? No. Okay. It's your thread locker, huh? Yeah. I think we had an excessive amount there. So your actual wrist hasn't been breaking. It's your arm, right? Yeah, right, my, right my, above? My forearm. Which, in a way, is actually better than breaking a wrist. Yeah, there's so many moving yeah. bones and ligaments. Yeah. Like because there's tons of people get wrist problems and they got to wear those braces and then they're just never right with a wrist. Yeah. Well, the arm's dialed with all that hardware. Knock on wood, I've only done leg stuff over the years. <laughs> like Achilles and uh, ACL, you know, and just lots of lots of different... Uh, yeah, injuries. but those are tough injuries, though. Yeah, but you can w still work, usually, you know what I mean? But then you can't walk. Yeah. Yeah, so... You feel that's tight enough? No, that's tight. Are you sure? <laughs> he's all, yeah. He's all worn out. Yeah, he's just <laughs> tight. Just happening and popping. Good job. GG's. No stand, no problem. Got a toss up on the eagle here. Throw the machine in the gear. I got nothing for coming out. Run out of chain loom. Oh, there we go. Can never do too much. Get something out of the sprocket too. So the links don't start sticking to the teeth. Maybe some on the counter too. That's a race machine right there. That thing's greasy. Yeah, no, that thing's greased up. That's like an In-N-Out burger. Double, double, animal style. Pull the pickles and the tomato. No, hell no, no. <laughs> what do you got over here? Oh, I got some electric bikes. I'm well, this is some California stuff. Not even a paid ad, straight up. Just got this deal him away. Uh, Himaways. C5 Ultras, two, one for her, one for him. Yeah, we, everyone has fun. Yeah. This is such a dialed program. The California liberals are going to love you on this electric machine. Yeah, we're going to have to test out the durability right now, make sure they can um, handle everything. Let's go rip. Gas versus electric. All right, I got you covered. <laughs>
way to Albertsons, San Alejo, California. What are you getting? Are they ice cold here? Oh, they're ice cold. They got a new section. It's even colder than the old one. No, not the one in the back. Now it's a new one. That's the old spot. Eat some food after all the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> this is living right here. No, this is living. Bay Just bottle. like the old days. Nostalgic, too. I know. Bringing it back to the OGs. Chick fil A on the right. Coca Cola. Cherry. One of the top threes, too. Hitting just right. Oh, yeah. I think it's nice. I think it's better than that, huh?